Welcome to your virtual tour of A-Level Business. At St Bede's we study um, the Edexcel exam board and you will have two teachers, myself, Miss Hancock and Mr Osborne. The business course is two years long and you will sit the A-Level paper at the end of year 13. Uh, there are three papers overall, each are two hours and worth 100 marks and they cover four themes which I'll talk about in more detail now. Theme one is marketing the people. It considers what it takes to be an entrepreneur how you market your business and your products, how you meet your customers' needs, and how you manage people within a business. Theme two is the financial element of business A-level. It considers how businesses raise finance to start their business, how they manage their finances, and factors which can impact financial management. Theme three is all about decision-making. It considers how businesses grow um, and the aims that they set themselves, how they use strategies and techniques to make decisions on a daily basis, and how they can deal with change in a very busy world. Theme four is about global business. It considers how businesses impact our lives every day and how businesses such as multinational corporations are impacting the world around us. So a little bit about the exam, we use case studies in business and these case studies are on current and trending topics. All of the questions that follow the case study will require you to use the context in your answer um, in order to support your ideas and judgments. We have four question types at business A level. These range from a math style calculate question, four marks, all the way through to an evaluate 20 marker, which is essentially an essay. We also use the peach structure, which enables you to talk about those case studies in greater depth and also apply balance in your answers. At business A level, we do not have any coursework, but we do have a pre-release paper. This is paper three and it covers all themes but you are given a pre-release topic. Uh, last year, the pre-release topic was the entertainment industry across the world. You'll have a chance to research this topic and take notes and do some practice questions, but the paper will still be unseen. What this does give you though, is a little bit of an advantage in terms of context and having a good idea of what the questions might be about. So what do we look for for a business studies student at A-level at St Bede's? The first thing is a good grasp on literacy. We are a heavy writing topic, so you need to have a, a level six or above in English. We also look for high levels of numeracy. So again, a grade six or above in maths is really necessary for the big maths topics. In terms of engagement, we really do lots of discussion. So I'd be looking for someone who's keen to take part in discussions and debates in class. We also do a lot of teamwork, so making sure that you can work with others, especially when it comes to the pre-release paper to do some research, and someone who's highly, highly organised, so in terms of note-taking, directed study and revision. Business studies is a really versatile A-level. There are plenty of university courses that you can enrol in using this A-level, as well as really high-level apprenticeships, and in terms of the future and looking ahead in jobs, there are all kinds of jobs, whether it be in the retail sector, whether it be in banking and finance or, um, or accounting. When people ask me why they should study business at A-level, I always tell them that it's because it's the most current A-level out there. It really considers what goes on in day-to-day -day life and helps you understand that. It also makes you a really well-rounded candidate, from good communication skills to accounting and budgeting, all the way through to project management it's really an A-level that can take you really far. So if business study sounds like the A-level for you, I would recommend that you have a deeper look at the course on Edexcel Online. Really think about your suitability and what you would bring to the A-level as, well, as well as what it would do for you. And keep listening out for the news. Obviously at the moment, so much happening in terms of business in the world. So keep an ear out for that, ready for when we start the course in September. If you have any further questions, please do not hesitate to contact me and my email address is on the screen and I look forward to meeting you next year.